Welcome to Area Saturday, part two, Electric Boogaloo. We got the odd even, the odd conferences, 3A and 5A. We're going to do a nerd in on the conference 5A area Saturday that is coming up this weekend. Good morning again, Daniel Valdez. Again, it's a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. This is going to take some explanation because there are, there are several very unique situations with the areas and how they're done with conference 5a i'm going to walk you through all that stuff if you're listening on or if you're watching on youtube you're going to get the visual aids on there and everything and all my terrible uh screenshots if you're listening on anywhere else spotify apple Podcasts, thank you so much for listening and subscribing and doing all that fun stuff cool cool at the end of saturday night or early sunday probably early sunday morning because i think one of these areas goes all the like they're not going to announce anything until after midnight but when it's all said and done, we're going to certify at least 35 programs from Conference 5A to the state marching contest. Y'all get to party with me in the Alamo Dome in a couple of weeks, but we got to do a lot of explaining. We got to do all this stuff. By the way, area results live blog. I'm going to post the link there. We're doing the exact same thing like we did last week. It'll have Conference 3A results as they come in, as we can certify them and make sure they're accurate. Conference 5A stuff. As they come in, we'll do our best with that. As far as final schedules go, those are hard to come by just because there is not a central place where this stuff is posted. The area websites uh, don't always, and in fact, they almost never post this sort of stuff on their website. It's hard to find through social media and all that stuff. So uh, we work with what we're able to work with. So I appreciate your patience and, you know, you, you can put the sticks down. <laughs> don't get, don't, uh, don't, don't come after me for any of that stuff. So uh, we're going to do the live blog on there. I'll make sure you all have the link so that you all can tune in and uh, I'll be with you the entire night trying to make sure that uh, uh, we get everything taken care of with all of area Saturday. It's part two. It's, it's, uh, it's just as intense, if not more intense than it is at conference six A. So I'm done ranting there. Let's get to it. My friends. It's Area Saturday for the Odd Conferences, and this is the Nerd In. We are starting off in Area A. Now, here's Area A. Here's the issue with his. This is the only area that's doing this, by the way. You're noticing Area A East. You're noticing Area A West. Yes, an area is allowed to zone their contests. As you can see the graphic right there, by action of the Area Executive Committee, approval by the State Director of Music, the Area Marching Band Contest may be zoned to reduce travel for participating schools. I don't know if you've ever spent any time out in West Texas. It is bigger than you think. <laughs> it's it's a lo- it's a it's its own country. Trust me on this. Uh, for someone who's spent some time out there in the past, so. That helps reduce travel for programs so you don't have to travel, you don't have to go 350, 400 miles to get to an area contest. And every area has the option to do that. They just got to make a case for it and get it approved by the state. Cool, cool. Here's the second part that's going to trip some people up, and we're going to explain that uh, uh, explain that a little bit further in just a second. Zone contests have to have a minimum of five bands at each contest site. Both East and West Area A qualify for that. One band for each five bands competing in the contest shall be certified for advancement to the state contest, superseding the use of certification formulas in section 1106K1 and 2. What on earth does that mean? That whole certification formula says that for Conference 6A and Conference 5A, they each area has to certify at least two programs. And then if you have 15 or more programs at the area contest, you certify one band for every five bands. That's why you never see anything below two bands uh, being certified to the state marching contest. But because it's a zoned contest and because they do this to make everything a little bit more convenient for the programs that don't have to travel as far, the drawback is that if you have limited participation in one of these zoned contests, it, it could be really tight quarters in order to make state. So let's go ahead and go over that stuff right now. We are going to Area A Contest East in Low- Lowry Field in Lubbock, Texas. Twelve bands competing. Seven will go to finals. Two will qualify for the state marching contest. So that is Area A East. 
everything north and south of that that's what that's the area we're working with there so yes they do they did have enough programs qualified for area to warrant a finals contest to the top two programs are going to the state march contest out of area a east area a west is where it gets interesting area a west conquistador stadium in el paso texas eight bands competing only eight programs in conference 5a at that particular zone qualified for area therefore they do not have enough programs who qualify to warrant a finals contest for this particular zone you have to have at least nine programs to warrant a finals contest and because we're it's his own contest and you have the one to five rule you know it's not automatic automatically the top two because it's a one to five rule they needed 10 bands to qualify in order to take at least two programs from area a west what does that mean you probably already figured it out according to the rules and of course who knows what can change on area saturday but according to the uil rules there will only be one program out of area a west to qualify for the state marching contest you're gonna have to win the zone in order to advance to state it is a winner take all deal out in the wild wild west texas i can't think of anything more exciting it's one performance there's no finals the champion of the area a west zone is going to the state marching contest good luck and congratulations to all those programs out in el paso that is definitely one of the most unique situations in the history of the uil state marching contest and how to qualify and everything it is that's everything right there and it's going to be a quick contest we're going to have results almost immediately and i'll be able to walk you through that stuff through saturday cool cool let's keep going we are at area b marching contest coach kenny deal stadium in melissa texas yes that's the giant stadium that's out there in melissa texas 22 bands competing 10 will go to finals four will qualify for the state marching contest this is a tough tough area to get to plenty of programs that are absolutely fantastic out there can't wait to see well not really see it but can't wait to hear how you all do this weekend out in area b at that beautiful new stadium out of melissa so congratulations to you all good luck and get after it we are going to area c marching contest mesquite memorial stadium in mesquite texas 17 bands competing 10 will go to finals Four will qualify for the state contest. Let's explain this for a second. 17 bands competing. Why are we taking 10 to finals? Because Area C had several programs qualify for area, but they competed in the state military marching championships that just went down. uh, Recording this on Thursday, went down Tuesday and Wednesday. Their qualifications for area still count towards the overall number. So I think there were like four or five programs out of area C that got the one at region, but they decided to do state military marching championships. Therefore, those numbers still count because it was over 20. That means they still take 10 bands to finals and four will qualify for the state marching contest. So congratulations to all those programs out in area C. Dallas area is always tough, especially for these 5A programs. So good luck to you all out in area C. Area D marching contest, the field in Pflugerville, Texas. Yes, pun intended. Uh, 25 programs competing, 10 to finals, five to the state marching contest. Plenty of fantastic programs out there in Central Texas. Uh, Can't wait to see how you all do. Tough stuff. It's a great field. It's a great stadium. Field spelled P F. (laughs) I love, I love, I love puns. That's that's fantastic stuff. Uh, Good luck to you all out in area D marching contest. It's gonna be a long contest. We're taking five to state, plenty of room to get in there. But again, two performances is what it's gonna take to uh, to crack that top five. Let's keep going. We're at area E marching contest, Freedom Field in Rocheron, Texas, 16 bands competing, seven to finals, three will qualify for the state marching contest. Exclusive real estate here down in in the, just south of Houston. I've been out there before. I've seen the stadiums, an incredible stadium out there. Uh, be ready for that. It is going to, again, two performances. You're only taking three to state. Some fantastic uh, programs out there, some hungry programs out there in the Houston area. So good luck to you all at Area E. Area F, Marching Contest, Birdville Fine Arts Athletics Complex in Birdville, Texas. 24 bands competing, 10 to finals, four will qualify for the state marching contest. Again, another Dallas area contest that is going to just be really, really, really tough. Good luck to all your programs out there. Uh, 
hopefully the rain stays off. It seems like it's supposed to rain everywhere, but you have a lot of programs that had plenty of success in the past, and we've got a lot of up-and-coming programs at this particular contest that are super hungry and that want to crack in that top four to get into the state marching contest, and that have actually have the potential to make a run at finals. <laughs> if, we get, if we get to state contest, they have a chance to get to state finals. So good luck to my programs out at Area F. It is Area G Marching Contest, La Jolla High School Stadium in La Jolla, Texas. This is the biggest one. 34 bands competing. 12 will go to finals. The top six out of finals will qualify for the state marching contest. This is a massive event. You can see the schedule right there. It's going to take a while for that for that contest to be over. It's probably going to be one of the last uh, results we get in. All those programs, they're now 5A programs, so they're all together. These programs know each other so well. They compete against each other all the time. It's going to be a long night in Area G down in the valley. Good luck to all my programs out there. Go after it and, and kick some butt. Area H, marching contest, DW, Rutledge Stadium in Converse, Texas. 21 bands competing, 10 to finals. Four will go to the state marching contest. And as you can look through that, look through that list right there, you know what's coming. <laughs> you know exactly what's coming. Area H, doesn't matter what it is, Conference 5A, Conference 6A, Area H always seems to have some really, really, really good programs that always seem to uh, to turn it on for finals and, and just perform so consistently. I love when we have consistent programs out there that no matter what the situation is, no matter what they're dealing with on the field, off the field, they're able to turn out a fantastic performance. Good luck to my programs out in Area H. Last but not least, Area I marching contest. This is going to take some explanation. Ten bands competing. Seven are going to finals. Two will go to the state marching contest. You're wondering how we got that. Those numbers don't seem to make sense. I'd be happy to explain that for you as soon as I pull up that schedule. So 10 bands competing. However, we do have plenty of programs out in area I that decided to do state military marching contests. So of course, just like before the uh, region one, the, the region uh, contest where those programs got a division one rating that still counts over here. Uh, so that's why you have seven bands that are going to be taken to finals, even though there's only 10 competing. And then we take the top two to the state marching contest. That is the conference five, a nerd. And I mean, it's exclusive real estate all around. And yes, there's some funky uh, uh, rules and everything. It's all in fair competition. We want the, we really want those military marching programs to for their qualifications for area to uh, to be taken into account. Trust me, you don't want it the other way. You don't want those to be dismissed because that would shrink the bubble. That would shrink the uh, the amount of programs that could qualify for the state marching contest. It would bring it down, and we don't want that. We want as much opportunity for all the programs as possible, so that when you get out there, you really feel like you got. You got a chance. You got something to prove. You got you like we knock out two performance. We knock out one performance in the afternoon. One knock out one performance at night. We got a shot to get to the Alamo Dome. We got a shot to, to party with Dan Pot at the state marching contest. It is going to be a wild, wild Saturday. If you thought last week was something, wait till this week when we go over rule explanations and everything, and and really look at how many programs are going to qualify for this state marching contest. I would not be surprised if we ended up taking a couple of additional bands uh, to the state marching contest. It wouldn't surprise me. It happened last week. I could totally see that happening again. So get ready, buckle up, bring your best performances here. Cause you want to come, you want to come hang out with me at state. You want to come hang out at the Alamo dome. I don't tolerate anything less than the best. So get out there, get out there, get your head right. Do what you need to do, but when it comes time for Saturday, you better be ready to perform because if you're not ready to perform, somebody else is going to be hungry. Somebody else is going to take that spot. So don't let that opportunity pass you up. Get what you get what you need to get. Do what you need to do. Go out there. Give me two good performances. We'll see if you can make it down to the Alamo Dome in a couple of weeks. Folks, I am done here. Thank you so very much for listening. This is going to be an exciting time. I'll make sure you got the, the link for the, the live blog for the Area Results Live blog. I'm going to do that concurrently with the Bands of America Waco stuff. It's going to be on two separate blogs. I'll make sure that everything's straightened out and that everything's working, ready to go, so that you can have that information as soon as we it's handed in to us. Folks, thank you so much. I am done here. Thank you for listening. I will see you at Area Saturday. Good luck to all of you. Uh, 
uh, safe travels, be safe, have fun. Hopefully the rain stays off, um, but ra- but uh, be ready for updates in case some rain delays or something like that happen on Area Saturday. Thank you all so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.